Hey, data fans, Reed here. Today, I want to walk you through how to combine a useful feature of field parameters, which is actually being able to use those to create custom hierarchies and tables by selecting the parameters in the order you'd like the hierarchy to be in with bookmarks. Now, the reason for this, as you can see in front of you here, if you use field parameters to specifically select a custom order for the table, it doesn't look like it has it yet. You have to come up to the hierarchy and then expand it to get all that because the visual to a degree resets. Whereas if you attach them to a bookmark, you can get a one click instant configuration with those levels already expanded plus a sort order. So that's the beauty of combining the two of them is the bookmark configures some preset configurations for field parameters in terms of orders and sorting and allows for one click option and that ability to do a custom order as you saw there with a the slicer. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and merge these two worlds together. All right, so I'm going to start by discussing the problem. So again, I love this field parameter feature where I'm able to actually come in and I can configure a new order. Right now, it is by country, class, and color. But if I wanted a different order, I could come in to a field parameter and select, so let's say class, then country, then color. Now, it's not going to expand out all the way depending on what the visual settings were. So it's inconsistent for that. So I'd have to do that. I'd have to come back expand it out. And if I wanted sort it again, I'd have to click this. Now, if I wanted to change the configuration again, I'd have to come back here. I'd have to select new order, say color, class, country. Notice that it's not expanded at all. So I need to come over, expand it out again, select whatever sort option I would want to on this to get that to sort correctly. So many clicks to get to these, as you can see, is the problem. So great feature. You can hyper configure a matrix table as much as you need to, but how can we simplify this a little bit, provide some shortcuts for this? And that's where bookmarks come into play. So the bookmarks here that we can create, we can have some pre-configured options. So I have table hierarchy configurations with a little help icon up here, which controls, just explains that it's controlling the matrix hierarchy levels for custom orders plus a custom sort order. But now, and I'm in desktop, so I have to hold the control key to activate bookmarks. I can do like by country, by class, so one level at a time. And notice that the visual actually only has it. There's not even hierarchy controls. I'm switching between these. So the clever trick to this is that the bookmark, if I go to this visual, it's triggering this over here. So I actually have the field parameter placed as a field list in here specifically, and that's being configured by the bookmark. So with this open up, if you see by country, it's not controlling a hidden slicer. It's controlling this filter that is onto the visual itself. So country, class, color, select there. We can see if I go country, class, it does both of those. And the beauty of this too is that the, the data um, on the bookmark itself, in terms of this, that captures actually the expansion option specifically for that bookmark. So this will uh, not only be the data in the order that it was selected here, because it will save the selection. So by country class, I went in here and I applied country first, then class when creating the bookmark, which gave it and it remembered that order. And after I expanded it before creating the bookmark, it remembered that as well. Same thing by country class order. It has all three of those in the order that I selected in here. And I will make one for demonstration purposes just to show you uh, how that process is done. And then by custom order, clears this on the visual and unhides, if we look at the selection pane, it unhides this hierarchy slicer that is over here on the filters list over on the left. And now I can just custom configure it. So let's assume that I want to add one more just to show you how I built this. So I will do class country color as one of these. So what I'm going to come in and do is I'll hide my hierarchy slicer because I want one more button on there. And I'm going to go to my visual and let's do class first, then country, then color. And now that would be the right order. I'm going to expand it. And let's assume that I also want it sorted by Let's say I want it sorted by class. So there we go. So now I'm going to select hierarchy slicer and I'm going to hold control. I'm going to select sales details. I'm going to select add. This is now going to be called by, uh, what will this be? This will be class, uh, yep, class country color. Class country and color. Move this up by one. There we are. And then ensure this is probably configured. I want data and display, current page, and I need to make sure that selected visuals 
is turned on so it doesn't accidentally toggle anything else. But now, there we go. So all of these are still working. If I go back to class country color, that is in the correct order. We can observe that that is happening and being applied here as well. And again, it remembers the order you clicked it in. So it saves that query plan essentially on that proper order for that selection, which is really useful. But I like this kind of hybrid approach because again, I can think it can be very valuable when you can have, especially if you have 20 or 30 fields in here, and I've seen some clients do that where you can hyper configure and build out your hierarchies, but clicking all of these plus expanding plus sorting can be a lot. So it's nice to have a couple starter options of common patterns followed by any additional full customization you want. So a little bit of the best of the two worlds. But to recap, the way to do this is with your bookmarks is to ensure that the field from your hierarchies specifically is used in the visual level filters. And that will be the configuration for your bookmarks in that order. And then you simply unhide the original slicer and clear off that filter at the visual level when you want the custom order. But it's a really nice both and for that. I'll go ahead and get rid of my demo extra button there. But I like the hybrid approach between the two of those uh, with my goal for most of my reports for the end users is the simpler, the better, the less clicks that you need, the better as well. So this hopefully gives you an idea of a way to maybe combine the two of them. Uh, it's a great new use case, honestly, for bookmarks because it does combine both the filters plus the hierarchy expansion and the sort order all into one button, which is a great one-click option for those preset configurations. Uh, as always, let me know if you have any comments, suggestions, or anything else down in the comment section down below. Check out some of our related content here in the upper left. And as always, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It uh, truly does continue to help this channel grow and get exposure. And then I will see you all in my next video.